let us derive bivariate normal distribution in this video okay and we are going to derive the density function of uh, bivariate normal distribution uh, let us start like this let u and v be independent standard normal variates okay then f of u comma v is equal to f of u into f of v they are standard normal variates right so you have 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus u square by 2 into 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus v square by 2 and that is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root and square root will become 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 u square plus v square okay right and the range you know it is from z minus infinity to plus infinity now let us introduce two new variables x and y that is I am going to represent u as x minus mu x by sigma x and v as 1 by root of 1 minus rho square y minus mu y by sigma y minus rho into x minus mu x by sigma x okay which implies x is equal to see x minus mu x is equal to u times sigma x and x is equal to mu x plus sigma x into u and here root of 1 minus rho square into v is equal to y minus mu y by sigma y minus rho into x minus mu x by sigma x which implies um, y minus mu y by sigma y is equal to this term comes to the left plus rho x minus mu x by sigma x y minus mu y is equal to cross multiply root of 1 minus rho square into sigma y into v plus rho into sigma y into x minus mu x by sigma x so y is equal to mu y goes to the right plus root of 1 minus rho square into sigma y into v plus rho sigma y what is this actually u right ok fine after having this you have this expression for x and this expression for y with this you find expectation of x expectation of mu x plus sigma x into u that is expectation of a constant is a constant here this is the variable so sigma x into expectation of u this becomes 0 right so you have mu x you take expectation of y here expectation of mu y plus root of 1 minus rho square sigma y v plus rho into sigma y into u expectation of a constant is a constant here this is a constant sigma y is a constant but v is the variable rho sigma y are constants expectation of u you know expect u and v are standard normal variates means what expectation of u is equal to 0 variance of u is equal to 1 and expectation of v is equal to 0 and variance of v is equal to 1 yes right 
because they are standard normal variates. So here what happens? Expectation of V is 0. So this becomes 0. Expectation of U is 0. 0 into anything becomes 0. So you have mu y. Okay. Now let us find variance of x. Variance of x is variance of mu x plus sigma x u. Variance of a constant is 0. Right. Plus sigma x square into variance of u. Variance of u is equal to 1. Right. So you have sigma x square. Let us find variance of y. Variance of mu y plus root of 1 minus rho square sigma y into v plus rho into sigma y into u. See variance of a constant becomes 0. Variance of this is square. Right. Variance of ax is a square into variance of x. So when you square it the root goes off sigma y square into variance of v plus rho square sigma y square into variance of u. So 1 minus rho square sigma y square into variance of v is 1 plus rho square sigma y square into variance of u is 1. So sigma y square minus rho square sigma y square plus rho square sigma y square equal to sigma y square. Okay, so, so now we have found the mean and variance of x and y. <coughs> Let us talk about the range now. U ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. Which implies the range of x. U is equal to x minus mu x by sigma x. When u is from minus infinity to plus infinity. It means that x also ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. V ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. Implies y ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, with this, the for this transformation, we have uh, changed the limits also. Now, let us go for Jacobian of transformation. Dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. Right? We are going to do this now. See, uh, dou u by dou x u when differentiated with respect to x it is going to give you 1 by sigma x ok 1 by sigma x u when differentiated with respect to y is going to give you nothing v when differentiated with respect to x your x is here so this term is constant 0 minus rho by sigma x so you have 1 by root of 1 minus rho square into minus rho by sigma x. When you differentiate with respect to y, you are going to get 1 by root of 1 minus rho square into 1 by sigma y. That's all. 1 by root of 1 minus rho square into 1 by sigma y. So when you multiply these two, you get 1 by sigma x into sigma y into root of 1 minus rho square and minus 0. So you are going to have 1 by sigma x sigma y root of 1 minus rho square. Okay. This is your Jacobian of transformation. Let us now come to f of x comma y. You are in need of f of x comma y, right? So that is f of u comma v into modulus of Jacobian. What is f of u comma v? You have already found it is e power 1 by 2, power, 2 pi e power minus half u square plus v square. And what is modulus of Jacobian? 1 by sigma x into sigma y into root of 1 minus rho square. Let us have this as 1. Okay. Because let me have found find this separately and get uh, get it substituted here u square plus v square I am going to find it separately ok so let us go for it u square plus v square what is u x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square and what is v see 
1 by this big expression. Square becomes the root will go off into y minus mu y by sigma y minus y minus mu y by sigma y minus rho into x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square. So let me expand x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square plus 1 by 1 minus rho square into a square y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square plus b square rho square into x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square minus 2ab minus 2 rho x minus mu x by sigma x into y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square okay now let me collect all x terms together x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square here I have 1 and here you have x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square so it is plus rho square by 1 minus rho square okay let me collect all y terms together y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square into 1 by 1 minus rho square let me collect this term now 2 rho by 1 minus rho square into x minus mu x by sigma x into y minus mu y by sigma y okay fine see a minus b the whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab right now i have collected x terms y terms and the the prod cross product term separately so i have x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square into 1 minus rho square is taken as the lcm 1 minus rho square plus rho square plus 1 by 1 minus rho square into y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square minus 2 rho by 1 minus rho square into x minus mu x by sigma x into lengthy expression but easy to remember hmm? if we have got a system here see in all the terms you have 1 by 1, 1 minus rho square outside so let me take 1 by 1 minus rho square outside so I will have x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square plus y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square minus 2 rho into x minus mu x by sigma x into y minus mu y by sigma y right so this is my 2 this is the answer for u square plus v square what I require here is the answer for u square plus v square. I am going to substitute uh, the value of u square plus v square here so that I will get the answer for f of x comma y. Okay, let us do it now. f of x comma y is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma x sigma y root of 1 minus rho square e power minus 1 by 2 u square plus v square okay this is actually your f of x comma y i am doing it now e power minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 u square plus v square is 1 minus rho square into let us substitute this x minus mu x by sigma x the whole square plus y minus mu y by sigma y the whole square minus 2 rho into x minus mu x by sigma x into y minus mu y by sigma y that's all okay this you are getting by using 2 in 1 okay this one we have derived already uh, you have it here 1 by 2 pi sigma x sigma y root of 1 minus rho square into e power minus half u square plus v square. I have substituted u square plus v square here. That's all. Okay. So e power minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus rho square. This is your probability density function of a bivariate normal distribution. Okay. Thank you.